What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Wolves Crew Mode today, episode number 29 for you guys. If you haven't seen the previous episode, check the eye thingy. If you haven't seen the Lazio Crew Mode video, also in the eye thingy, that's what I posted this past Monday. It's basically rebuild career mode and uh, we simulate majority of the stuff where we play, like, majority of the games where we play a few here and there, all the top teams. But uh, yeah, that's a fun series. I really enjoy it. We're going to finish that one up soon and then move on to another team. I'm thinking Leon might be a little bit more fun to have uh, uh, use Depay and come up, again, come up against Mbappe and Neymar. So, but let's jump into this Wolves here. We are sitting first place after seven games, tied with Liverpool, 21 points. And uh, yeah, this we get through quite a bit of games today and uh, we end up in December. So today it's in this, I'm pretty sure it's the beginning of October. So yeah, let's jump right into it here. We're sitting in seven, no, sitting in seven, sitting in first place, seven points. And somehow Brighton is up here as well with us. Man City's not doing too bad, tied with Brighton. Aston Villa, a strong contender right now, I guess. I'm not too sure. But looking at the top scorers, we have Jota with 13 goals in seven games. bernadeschi has got six and seven. And then, what do you got? Rodrigo there is five and six. So we're doing pretty well for goal scores. It's very evenly distributed. And, uh, you know, those are the main lads that are scoring. So jumping into this first game here, we got Aston Villa. So they're sitting in fifth place coming into this game. It's a big game away today. And uh, I think it's away. But it's, a, it's just a big game. We need every point we can. Set it inside. Takes the shot. There we go, Rodrigo. Clap it out for him. That was a beautiful goal. I couldn't believe I scored this, honestly, because obviously, you guys should know by now, I do post-com all of this stuff due to the fact that I work full-time, so I just got home from work, and I'm finishing the recording for Friday. That's how this works, but it's a beautiful shot, good pass from Triore, and, uh, you know, superb volley in the back of that. Look at him, he's happy. He is so happy that, well, I guess me, my guy, he's, you know, outstandingly happy that we scored that, but another little replay here. Beautiful, get past Tyrone Mings. It's in the back of the net. The one nil up, and uh, yeah, it's you know doesn't stop there. Rodrigo intercepts again. It's the sixth minute, and uh, Bernadeschi sees Jota wide open. Jota's gonna take the shot back of the net. Tom Heaton got nothing, mate. My lad, my, what, my lad, what is this? I don't even have a name for my guy. It's me, Hooligan. Sure, Hooligan 94. He's happy as hell that we're up two nil within ten minutes here. Rodrigo. Gets another one. Beautiful volley. Two volley goals today from him in this uh, game against Aston Villa. It's a wicked start for us. And uh, the team is just flying. And unfortunately, guy gets taken down there. I think that was Den Donker. But it was a huge slide challenge from, uh, I think, Longley. I'm not too sure who is who. But Solanke. Ooh, that's one that deserves one of these. You know, a little finger snap. I could hear it in the background from when I was recording. I was on fire. What a strike. I couldn't believe I scored this, honestly. What a goal. Look at this again. It's a beautiful finesse. And, uh, yeah, no chance for Tom Heaton. So we win this game against Aston Villa. We dominated them, which is beautiful. But we're going to take on Brighton here. And we go 1-1 up after seven minutes. Diego Carlos gets a little injury. Don't worry, he's fine. It's nothing major. Comes back uh, soon enough. And then, yeah, we're just kind of fast forward through this here. Nothing's really happening. Got some substitutes in. Come on, Neves scores. There he is. 79th minute, Neves. We get the victory over Brighton. 2-1. The next game up is in the Champions League against Dortmund today. The yellow wall. Terrifying. Uh, it's just, it's so intimidating with this new mod coming up against these other European teams. It's not easy. It's kind of tough, honestly. I really enjoy it, though. It adds a different element to it, but it's a huge opportunity off the beginning there. And uh, Holland gets a big shot away. Find they find it to Brunt. He whips it inside, trying to clear it out. Good shot by I think that was Depay, but uh, that was it was a, a brilliant effort. Uh, Bernadeschi now can find Jota to Solanke. Solanke's gonna take the shot. There we go, back of the net, extra time. He's coming up big for us. The 75 rated striker here come down as just a backup. We brought him into the team just for some support in case somebody got you know injured or tired. But he is. Pulling his own weight, and it's beautiful. But Jota now is going to find Traore. We're in the second half. Traore is going to whip it inside. Barnes finally gets himself a goal. It's been a while since we scored with him, or even if we have scored. He gets a beautiful heading chance in front of Rude, Rude, uh, what's his name? Rudiger. And, uh, yeah, no chance for Berkey there in net. I'm pretty sure Berkey's in net. Depay is going to whip it, ding it off the crossbar. 
And uh, we're going to have to punch that away, clear it away. Valencia now on the ball. We brought, subbed him, and he's a beautiful, like, uh, super sub. But look at the skill moves this lad's pulling out. Look at him go. Takes the shot, but it's just saved by the keeper. But it doesn't end there for Valencia. He gets the ball in a huge, long ball down to the, the uh, corner there. But he's going to skill his way in, get through what, past one defender, one of our own players. He's still got it. He's going to do another defender. He still has it. He's going to get past two, three. Takes a shot. Back of the net. 3-0 up against Dortmund. We're happy. We're pleased. We get that victory over them. I know, I believe, yeah, this is only the group stage, but it is labeled as the group of death, according to the announcers. Valencia does a brilliant job today. He's a wonderful super sub. I love playing with him. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy he's in the team. But we're back to the Premier League against Brentford today. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it up into the actual Premier League. I wish they did, but they have a good opportunity here and a huge chance. Big save from Patricio. Gabriel clears it away to Sané. Kwame now found some space. He's going to take the shot, but it goes wide, unfortunately. El Ghazi here is going to whip it across for Kwame. Tries the audacious bicycle kick. Bernadeschi with a bicycle kick or scissor kick. And uh, he wish he could have done better there. That would have been a brilliant goal. I'm... Uh, I'm not upset by that because, you know, he don't score those goals often. But it was a pretty audacious chance. Uh, but Bernard Dash here is completely gassed. He's going to try and do some more work for us in the team in their third. But he gets taken down for a penalty kick. Who's going to take it? Bernard Dash can step up and take it to save. That was our chance there. We're still nil-nil against Brentford. And we are destroying the Premier League this season. And we can't win against Brentford. It's a, been a tough one. But it's in the 92nd minute here. Rodrigo takes a shot. And Loftus Cheek comes up with a clutch of a rebound. Not the nicest goal. A little sloppy. But hey, it's in the back of the net. And we're going to get the three points from this game. I try and do a... I push the, what, the B button, the circle button. to uh, You can see he does a step there. But in our favor, he gets the shot off. And we get that victory over Brentford today. 1-0. So... You know, I'm pretty pleased with it, but I'm a little frustrated it came up down to the wire. Now we have Norwich in the Carabao Cup. Jota scores three minutes in. Beautiful. It's a little bit of a rotated side today. I really want to win the Carabao Cup. I don't know if I've said that already. But that is kind of like a goal this season. Same with winning the Premier League. Uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, no. Win yeah, winning the Premier League. Trying to win the Champions League. I want to win everything. Neves gets a penalty there in the 81st minute. We get the victory 2-0. Beautiful. So up next, Crystal Palace. It's a home game today and uh, coming up against the worst scoring team. They've scored three goals in the Premier League. We have scored, thir scored 36. Insane stats right there, but this game was full of drama, I must say. I really enjoyed playing this one. It's Pepe here. He finds it, takes the shots, and uh, we're not talking the Arsenal Pepe. We're talking Crystal Palace Pepe. We're down 1-0 now, and Sorloth gets, almost gets a goal. Unfortunately, fortunately for us, it's offside. But Rodrigo finds Jota now. We need to put a ball away. Big shot. Rebound to Rodrigo. It's a simple goal. It's an easy goal. 1-1 now against Crystal Palace. So the boys are starting off slow today. 41st minute. We had trouble against Brentford. And uh, we're having trouble against Crystal Palace as well. So we find a ball down to Sané here. Who I wish it would score more, honestly. But we send it into Rodrigo. Big shot. Big save from the keeper. That was a brilliant save, too. A nice another volley goal right out the keeper's midsection there. Right in his belly. Couldn't keep... Or, well, we couldn't get in the net. He kept it out of the net is what I'm trying to say. But we find Jota on the wing now. Rodrigo... Or not Rodrigo. A Traore in the middle. Gets a shot away. He scores. Not often this lad scores. But when he does, it's always a uh, decent goal. You know, he never really gets an ugly goal. He gets some beautiful shots away. And I'm happy with it. But Valencia is on the pitch again. The super sub of dreams here. He's got the skill moves. He's going to try something. A little skill move. Take a shot. Back of the net. That's his first Premier League goal this season. And uh, he's going to go do his classic celebration where he lays on the edge. Poses for the crowd. He's happy, lad. Number Our number six. He's good. I like him. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and get some more goals here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just steal the ball from Kelly. Whip it across to Solanke. Who's going to get a shot away. Bounce off the post. Bounces off the keeper. Back of the net. Unfortunately, it's classified as an own goal. No goal for Solanke there. It's a goal for the keeper, uh, Goita. I'm not even sure how his name is pronounced, but it's uh, not over for Crystal Palace yet. They're coming back hard. Big shot. 
And uh, tr I try to slide tackle the ball out. We bring it back in. Sorloth gets the rebound or somebody's... No, it was an own goal. That's what it was. Sorry, guys. And uh, it was that Den Donker there. Slides in, trying to clear the ball away. And it was an unfortunate turn of events for our defense. But uh, we still win this game. And uh, we're back in the Champions League against Dortmund. Huge game against them. Uh, they are probably our toughest competition moving forward. Are moving in this in this uh, group stage, but uh, Barnes here whips it inside. El Ghazi's wide open, beautiful volley, one nil up within 12 minutes against Dortmund here. Their team is so lethal and so terrifying, it's just crazy. But uh, here is some uh, unfortunate turn of events for our main mad main mad main lad Bernadeschi. He goes down with a injury and he's not getting back up. It's Honestly, when I was playing, I was like, what just happened? As you can see, that's used that, you know, here's the image from the thumbnail. And I'm not happy about this because I knew this was not good. He is our, what, like our star player. He's injured. He's in pain, smacking the ground. And we're going to have to substitute him off for Pereira here in the, what is this, the 15th minute of the game. Unfortunate. Uh, I heard, I can hear myself in the background swearing. And uh, he gets taken down. It looks horrible. Even though it's a video game, I've w I've experienced a knee, knee injury before, and that did not look good. So our key player is out right now for the rest of this game. And Depay, come on, gets himself a volley goal. We're 1-1 into the 40th minute now. Whip it across. Kwame hits the post. And that was a huge chance for us. Couldn't convert, but a huge slide from Florentino there. Beautiful defensive play. Jota now got quite a bit of space we found some room sweated across for Kwame there we go 2-1 up against Dortmund here exactly what we needed um, losing Bernadeschi in this game is obviously pretty terrifying because he is the most I feel the most confident with him on the ball uh, but we have Solanke on the pitch now as well takes a shot just goes wide I, st I really like Solanke he's been one hell of a player for us and an amazing signing. So there's that victory, 2-1 over Dortmund. So I feel like we should just simulate the next couple games in the Premier League, or not the Premier League, sorry, in the Champions League, because we are going to continue on through. Look how happy he is. He knows he's beat, beaten one of the best teams. But look at this. ACL injury, seven months out. I have experienced this injury myself. I have torn my ACL in my right knee, and it was... It was awful. So Bernadeschi is out for seven months. We're going to need to sign a backup cam or a cam to come in because I don't know who can play in that spot. I don't want Pereira playing there full time. And uh, I would really like you guys' opinion down below in the comments. Leave some suggestions of a center mid or a center attacking mid. Somebody who has really good, you know, finishing and shooting. But nine minutes in, Tottenham gave up a penalty here uh, after they get a really good chance. We put the ball in the back of the net. And you guys know our history with Tottenham. It has not been good, and uh, we always have trouble with them. But getting this early goal via penalty is good. It's great for us. It's a good boost because we have a hard time scoring against this team. And uh, Loftus-Cheek and Jota now working together, finding Rodrigo on a little bit of an overlap run. He is not offside. He's going to take the shot. Back of the net, 2-0, 20 minutes in. Uh, also, by the way, I've changed the formation. We're not playing 4-4-2 this game because... Bernadeschi is out, so we're playing a 4-3-3. Jota playing in that cam role, uh, but I want him as striker still, so we're going to have to figure that out, but it's a good opportunity. Neves again, beautiful save, beautiful deflection. No goal there, unfortunate, but we get the throw in right after this, and uh, Neves is on the ball. He, you know what we, you know, you guys know what he can do, as I can blurt out the words in my mouth. All right, we're going to find Rodrigo on the inside here. He's going to try and get the ball, and he gets taken down again. Eric Dyer, mate, what are you doing? So we're going for that top left corner. This is spicy, boys. Oh, do you see that? I can't believe I scored that beautifully tight corner shot. Top bins of a penalty. I don't even know what words you want to use, but that was sublime. I couldn't believe it. Look at him. He knows he, what he did there. It was filthy. Look at that placement. Ooh, that was a beautiful goal. I'm scoring some brilliant goals in this career mode. Even though Lazio career mode, I'm scoring some wicked goals. But uh, 85th minute, Rashford gets a ball of dreams over the top. 
Another own goal for us via the defense. This time it's long lay. Don't know what happened there. I don't even think I was controlling him. I had Ben Chilwell in on my whatever. I was controlling him. And long lay gives away a goal. It's unfortunate. And uh, Rashford on the pitch is lethal as hell. Because, uh, yeah, we're 3-1 uh, down at the moment. Now we're 3-2 down. Or not 3-2 down. We're 3-1 three, three up to 3-2 up. In the 90th minute, Berg, Bergvine, I think Bergvin, I don't know, sure, I'm not sure to say that, comes up clutch. And we're in the 93rd minute here, and this is terrifying because I don't want them to score and draw it. So we're just going to clear it away, spam that button. There is the whistle. Beautiful. It is done and over with. But uh, Longley got an injury in, uh, was it training? Yeah, training injury. Five weeks out unfortunate but we do have the backup for the center for the center back so i'm not too concerned about that so we're going to simulate through the rest of this month here and uh, we'll see how we end up with the results so we get a 2-1 loss against burnley which is i didn't even expect that expect that coming but i mean we get a 3-1 win against watford so we've dropped points in the premier league and we're 3-1 up against shakhtar in the group stage so as it ends boys we are sitting in second place a 39 points we've have one loss and uh, zero draws, 13 wins. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Uh, leave your comments down below what you guys thought of this editing style and what you guys think. Uh, I really want to get back into, you know, the three videos live commentary. It's just so difficult with how life is for me right now with working full time and having free time and all the, the, uh, and the space I'm in. It just doesn't work, unfortunately. During quarantine, my girlfriend worked and I was able to have the morning alone where I could record all that stuff because I am in the kitchen, as you may be able to tell. There's one of the kitties. But uh, yeah, that's it's tough for me. So I can do all the bulk recording and do this after, you know, when she's away or she's not home or that type of stuff. It just makes more sense uh, for me and in the space we're in. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on. Leave some comments down below what you thought of the video. And uh, I want to say thank you so much for 150 subscribers. I completely i'm so grateful for it i can't believe we've reached that already and i feel like i've been only doing this for just a little while and uh we're already we've already reached that little bit of a milestone so i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and i appreciate all the love and support on the videos and i'll see you guys on the next one and uh yeah i'm hoping that's a latio one for you guys and we'll end off that series and start a new one so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh have a good one peace